video is going to be about living full time out of a 13 foot scamp travel trailer without a bathroom my scamp is a 13 footer it's a 2017 i picked her up brand new up at the factory in Bacchus, minnesota in april of 2017 and we've been out here traveling full time since then um a lot of times during the winter especially during the winter we stay out west like new mexico and arizona then you know, during spring and summer and fall, we can go any place because the worst time being in a scamp is during the winter time because the biggest thing is you got to stay warm. That's the main thing. The second main thing with a scamp is you got to keep it very, very organized. You got to keep everything organized. I mean, you got to get in a routine of just being organized, and that way you always know where everything is and everything has its place. But I'll show you around my scamp now. Okay, as you can see, I also keep my car very organized. I always carry me a 100-foot cord. Right there, I have a rock pile. And that goes in my refrigerator. I'll show you my refrigerator in a second. I have a Yamaha 2000 generator when I'm not hooked up to a state park and electric. But I'll show you my refrigerator now. Okay, there's my refrigerator, as you can see. And it stays at about 39 degrees, but... It's got a lot of space. I mean, that's pretty nice. Plus, I also have a refrigerator in the camper when I'm hooked up to shore pile, so I use both. And also, if I'm boondocking, I use this refrigerator, and then I have solar panels, and I just hook my solar panels up to my rock pile right here, and the rock pile runs to the refrigerator and keeps everything cold. Okay, now back to the camper. As you notice, I got dual tanks. I started off with single tanks, uh, with a single tank, excuse me, and I changed a dual tank. As you notice, I got a little electric heater there, and I'll explain that to you a little bit later on in the video. If you notice right here, I always carry my locks on me, and that's the first thing I do. I made that a habit of locking my camper as soon as I drop her. Okay. Over here, you can see I've had curtains made for my camper. You can see right here, I put insulation here because on a scamp the door doesn't close all the way it usually has a gap in there so I got some foam insulation put it on there with duct tape also sometimes the scamp door will fly open so I put this little extra lock right here to keep my door from flying open even if the handle comes open the door can't fly open so that really helps out a whole lot and right there I put a hook I usually um, put my solar shower up there and of course i got my little map right there um i got an outside receptacle right there which comes in handy i also got when it got rid of those white rims and went with these chrome tires i noticed super dirty but i mean yeah they look a lot better when they're cleaned up uh if you notice i got my windows closed off the reason you do that is to keep the heat in during the winter time and during the summer Hey, they might help with the AC too, but you can also see I got my back window done too. Right there is my fresh water connection. I've never ran water through my campus, so I don't have to worry about that. I just, I do too much winter camping to put water in my camper. I went with the two inch receiver, which if I've got a bicycle rack or anything like that, I'll have the receiver there. Okay, over here, you notice I don't pull my cord all the way out. What I'll do. I pull it out a little bit I have an adapter I plug it into adapter and then I run it over to the power source right there I also have an orange cord right there and what I do with that I run that to the front of the camper and at night I use it for my heater and if my rock pal goes you know loses power I'll charge my rock pal with the electricity coming off the shore power right there but the reason I do that is a lot of times when you pull the black cord out It'll get cold, and then when you go to push it back in, it's a nightmare getting it back in. And I just found that this would be a lot easier. Excuse me. And as long as you have a heavy-duty yellow jacket cord, the breakdown electricity, you're not going to lose any. So that's what I do. And then right here, of course, I got the coaxial if you stay in a private campground. Then you got your heater exhaust right there. You got steady water connection and your drain outlet right here i'll show you this is where the uh control to the refrigerator is let me take that off and show you. okay 
this is for 12 volt push it that way and it's on 12 volt right now it's on 120 so it's that way these are your uh, controls right here this is your um low medium high for your furnace you also just like your furnace you just push this button right here and it lights your furnace if you want to run your furnace off propane the furnace will run off of propane and as long as you have a, a charge on your battery the fan will turn which will keep your furnace blowing out hot air but there you go that's what that looks like and if you notice i went to uh screws i got rid of those little plastic things right there and i put toggle bolts on mine but uh i'll show you what it looks like when i put the cover back on okay see so that's what i went to right there toggle bolts the reason i did that because it's those little plastic pieces i was wearing them out so i just went with that design because i liked it a whole lot better but let's go ahead and check out the inside of the camper okay getting ready to walk in and this is exactly the way i keep the camper okay under the, the tabletop right there i do have a sink and i do have a stove but i just keep them covered because usually i'll cook with an electric skillet with y'all i'll show you that in just a second okay there's my cooking setup right there i got the door closed so it might be echoing i cook with an eight inch electric skillet and if i need to boil something or heat something up or blah 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 i have this combing stove it runs off of butane you just stick cartridge in right there and you're good to go i have the backsplash um i keep a receptacle right there and i just run it through my side receptacles which are right there and i have the same thing on the other side and there you can see my little man he's always messing around that's the that's the case right there for the stove but anyway you can see i have my windows blocked off and i'll show you basically that's what it's gonna look like on the inside and i did all three of my windows because this is basically my sleeping area this bed does come up into a table but i've never done that i just saw uh, keep it down at the table underneath here i keep my clothes i got three of those cases right there i also have a little mr buddy heater backup heater right there but i just keep my bed down i did put um this is a one put one inch foam right here and then also have a backpack and foam right there and that way it keeps me pretty comfortable on the bed i have a tv right there has a power antenna back here i have a max fan right there I have the AC right there there's a remote for the TV but and there's my big AC that AC will run you out of here and as you can see um, as long as you stay organized that's kind of like my junk cabinet right there and this is like my canned goods right there and my spices right there and this is my box stuff right there hopefully y'all can see that I'm not sure if you can but I, hope y'all can the more spices okay up here I keep my toiletries and my uh, towels and washcloths and that's about it and then I got my front window it does have a cover on it and I put the cover on whenever I'm going down the road okay I did install this table right here and I'll move the junk off of it so y'all can see exactly what it does pretty cool table it'll move around however you want to move it you can move it in whatever direction you can move it out of your way or you can when you're packing it up i just push it all the way back right there that's the name brand of the table i just have it um bolted right there i put a backup plate in there and um yeah that's my table it's mostly i use it for computer work and stuff like that this here is a closet i just put shelves in it and up top i keep my pots and my pans and all that good stuff and this is just my water my coffee uh, and stuff like that and then below it down here that's where i keep my poop bucket and um uh, yeah that's a view of my 13 foot scamp travel trail that i mean little man been living in for almost five years now and uh, i pull it with subaru 2.5 motor my car's got like 200 and I think 222,000 miles on it now we've done some boogieing around the country the last five years but if you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out a little bit i hope it showed you what the inside of scamp looks like overall they're you know for one person it, it's pretty good camper i mean i don't know if i could do it two people unless i really really 
bike that person a whole lot, but for one person, it's a great little camper. It's solid fiberglass, so there's no uh, upkeep on it. I mean, you gotta keep caulking on the rivet caps and all that good stuff, but other than that, I mean, I haven't had any problems. I mean, the first six months I had to work out all the kinks and stuff, but once I worked kinks out, everything's been fine ever since. I did paint it. That's not the natural color of the scamp. Uh, the natural color would be this right here. That's the only thing in here that I haven't painted, but overall, I just, I like brightness, so I painted it all brightness. Oh, I forgot a couple things. This is like my silverware silver drawer right there. Okay, this is my refrigerator. And you see it's pretty good size refrigerator. It works super good. It really does. I put these baby straps on it. Let me show you this one over here. I put these on it right here so uh, when you're going down the road, your doors can't fly open. Also, I have put backup plates on the back of my hinges here. I put inside backup plates and I've also gone to longer screws. Um, I also installed this right here. I also changed the lights out, LED lights. As you can see, both of them LED lights. Last time I went up there, um, I got Jarrett changed out. You can tell I like, I like electric because I like my electric coffee heater. And uh, right here is where I keep all my cleaning supplies. Hope that y'all can see that. And then right here I keep my um, soap, my dog shampoo, my condition cleaning. But um, that's my heater right there. But other than that, that's my travel trail. I know I jumped around a whole lot because, yeah, it's getting a little warm in here. But uh, there you go. That's my scamp travel trailer. Her name is Janie, and she's going on five years old come uh, April. And I travel with my little Yorkie little man. And that's my little man. And we've been on the road for about five years now. So, once again, I hope that video helped you. And, um... If it did, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'll see you down the road.